Well, it's five o'clock in the morning, it's raining, I'm outside, that means one thing. I'm going to a track day. You ready to go thrash it around the track? Yeah, let's do it. So the main point of this video is gonna be checking out what the Cup 2s are like at the track with Declan's M2. But it's also gonna be interesting to see how the custom tune's going. So he's got the custom tune from Kerry Jordan, who's running full 85 with the Dorch Stage 2 pump. And he's been going through a few issues with oscillations. We're thinking it's down to the factory bob on the turbo, just not holding boost properly. But uh, it's gonna be a test for it. It's gonna be flat out around Queensland Raceway today. But the first stop of the day is of course getting E85. And E85, although it's not too bad to get where we live, when you're on a long trip in Australia and it's a two hour drive to Queensland Raceway from where we live, you have got to make some exceptions to get the fuel. The fuel in McDonald's, of course. Oh, rainbow. See, it's clearing up. It's gonna be a good day. We've got a rainbow, the clouds are going away. Made it to the track. Still got some 85 left. Turn right onto Champions Way. You excited? Yes. Is this your first QR okay, day in how long? Uh, six or seven years. Damn. First wet QR day ever. You'll smack the Geneva, don't worry. So we have arrived at the track and it's not just a full open day. This is a Paul Stockel or Stokel um, training slash track day. They basically run 20 minute sessions for each group. There's going to be three groups today. I'm not sure how they separate or categorize the groups, but um, yeah, basically there'll be 20 minute sessions. You can request a instructor jumps in the car with you, which I think Declan's gonna do. He hasn't driven at this track in a while. And as for the track, we're at Queensland Raceway. It is the most boring track in the world. Um, it's basically what they used to call the paperclip, but they're gonna be running, I think, the Clubman track today. Uh, so it'll have a few extra corners in it. Yeah, we'll see how we go. There's actually quite a pretty cool collection of cars, which I'll try and film as they head out on the track. Maybe the most basic track in the world, but you can see people still manage to swap up into the wall on a regular basis. Let's hope we don't have any of that today. So we've got a McGann RS265, looks like a Carrera 4 911, Honda S2000. Man, that thing's gonna make some noise with that intake. Look forward to seeing that. Got an APR tuned Golf R. I've heard they're pretty slow. Got a Cayman something. Doesn't look like a Povo model, maybe a Cayman S. Got another 911, looks quite good. Now this is more my style. We've got an M4. Pretty basic spec on this one. You can see it's got stock, or well, the entry level brakes, but be good to see how it goes on the track. Interesting to compare it to how Declan's M2 goes. There's quite a few of these radical style cars here. That's what's pretty much all out on circuit at the moment. They they just look insane. Got an R36 Passat wagon. Now these are probably one of the most underrated cars in Australia. I mean, it's definitely not a track car, but whoever's here in that today is gonna have some fun. A bit more of my style. Got a lovely Evo 9, or is it an 8? I can't tell. It's an Evo 8 MR, I think. F10 M5, the game. Never thought much about M5s on the track. R1's always been terrible, but be good to see how it goes. Massive brakes on these things. Love them. Got a four series hatch. It's a 430. That is just a four cylinder, that thing. But fair play for bringing it out and having a bit of fun on track. Got a Mustang. Not that big into these. I think this one's the R spec. Be interested to see how it goes. Got nice Recaros in it. And again, whopping brakes. She'd want to be kick quick with brakes that big. Got another M4, had a look at this one before. It's also rocking the uh, eBay replica wheels. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, this one also got the stock brakes. Maybe it was the other one there. One of them's got big brakes. This is a uh, friend of ours, M2. 
Maybe it's the one I come down in. This thing looks familiar. Looking forward to seeing how this goes on the track. She uh, got the downpipe recently installed, so hopefully she makes some cool noises. Another similar or familiar looking M135. I've heard this one's got an MHD Stage 2 tune on it. Aside from that, she's all stock. Another M2. Flavor of the day, the M2s. Got a Camaro. Never been much of an um, American car guy, but this one keeps catching my eye. It looks alright. It's the SS on Audi S1. Again, not a powerhouse, but she's going to be some fun on the track. Got an old XY Falcon. Judging by the badges, it's got a 427 in it. In fact, it's probably got about 610 horsepower. And that much power in an XY Falcon is just ludicrous. Should be funny to see it go around the track. I'll try to go around the track. Lotus Europa. There's a lot of Elises out on the track at the moment. I'm surprised this guy's not out in that group. I guess the Europa's a bit more of a chilled out car. Then we've got a lonesome STI down the end to finish the uh, lineup off. Got this Porsche out here. I don't know much about Porsches. It looks a bit GT4-y. Be interesting to see if it goes out on track. Is it a GT4? It is a GT4. And that looks pretty cool. Looks cooler than I thought it would. So yeah, that's the lineup of cars that are here for today. As I mentioned earlier, it's a bit of a, it's not just a full on go and race your car day. It is a driver training slash track day. The guys I've all come down with, they've had to have a longer briefing because it's their first one of these days. But it'd be interesting to see how they all go. And I'm really keen to see what Declan thinks of his Cup 2s on track. I felt a bit bad for the semi review video we did on the Cup 2s because we weren't using them as they're intended. They're, they're gonna be much more suited to what we're doing today. So, uh, yeah, let's go and see what these things can do. So I probably would have known this, I've actually went to the uh, briefing, but you know, it was cars to look at, so I stayed outside. But they appear to be doing a, well I was told they're going out for a siding lap, but they're doing like 10 siding laps. And each time the lead car has to pull over and let everyone overtake down the straight, as you can see happening here. Which is an interesting thing, I've never seen that done at a track day before, but I guess it gives everyone a good chance to familiarize themselves with the conditions instead of just going out balls to the wall and crashing straight away not a bad not a bad setup got to say initial impressions the uh, the golf's actually one of the best sounding cars out on the track at the moment freaking golf So he's just done his first session. It wasn't a full caning, but what do you think of the Cup 2s in the wet? Not too bad. What temperatures did you get up to this time? Sorry? What tyre temps did you get up to this time? Uh, about 50 on the front and 30 on the rears. Now it right. looks like you were struggling for traction down the straight. The whole straight. Yeah. Up to 160, 170, it was just traction's kicking in. It's just going sh -sh -sh -sh, like lifting off the throttle. Could, could not come down. So, yeah, don't forget, we're still we're on a wet surface. We're still drying out, but we'll see how these Cup 2s go. Yeah. Second session and the third session should be good. Once it's dry, they felt like the fronts were starting to bite when it got a bit of temperature in them. 
but um, yeah, you just you need to drive track. Now, as this car is actually tuned, Declan's just having a quick look through his logs, making sure he's not getting any excessive knock, make sure the oil temps are staying safe all around there. It's just so impressive what you can do with these late model beamers. I'm guessing that because of all the noise going on then they didn't hear what you said but just so that everyone knows he's pretty much a proper racing driver fully qualified it's pretty much F1 team going on right now Tem, which starts at 220 and it actually goes down throughout the entire run starts to creep back up towards the end but I actually think this is probably when I came off the track okay um, no knock detected throughout the entire run which is great oil temps just literally chilling like doesn't even go up so yeah 100 fahrenheit which is bugger all and intake air temps never get above when i'm on track like 90 about 90 degrees and i think it starts cutting timing at at over 100 so you're good yeah you're not it's, driving fast enough well yeah i mean if it was a bit drier it might help So Declan's just come in from his second run and it looked a lot better. You actually had to go and get fuel. Yes, I used 21, 22 litres of fuel in that session. In one session. Yeah. Hashtag E85 life. <laughs> um, now you said quickly, just as you pulled up, tyres are feeling better. Amazing, so much better. So the fronts this time got up into their low 80s. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty warm. Yeah, not, not as warm as I've had other tyres, like the stock Conti's got up over 100 on a proper dry track on a warm day. Yep. Today we've got ambient of about 20 um, and the track is still damp. It's drying out, but it's still damp. Sweet. Um, but yeah, turn-ins actually working like you expected from the Cup 2s. And would you say the notice will be better than your Conti's and the PS4s now on the track? Yes. Like it is actually a, a definitive step up. Yeah, well, considering the track is still damp, um, and it's by no means sort of rub it in in comparison to a warm day when the track temp was much higher the turn in actually feels better than a dry track day I mean from memory this is six months ago yep but yeah I'm oh, really awesome. happy with them and you changed brake pads as well for this didn't you yes so I've got the Ferrodo DS 111s on the front yep. which is like a semi track pad soft track pad how are you finding them because obviously it, Declan's done that because he's going to have he should have better front end grip with these uh, cup twos and obviously braking is going to be more aggressive yeah uh, they've been on the car for about two weeks those pads yes and no sort of issues using them on the street, but on the track, they're actually impressing you again. Yeah, I mean, even on the street, they the initial bite, even when cold, is really impressive on them. Um, it's just that they, they have a bit of movement in the caliper, so you get a bit of a clunk forwards and reverse, but who knows, maybe now that I've properly bedded them in, because I haven't bedded them in prior to the track day, yep. that might improve. Um, but yeah, they're, they're biting really nicely when they get up to temp. We did probably seven hot laps. Um, and they were just starting to lose a bit of the initial bite, but actually got to what stop pads are when Wait, cold. When not right. So yeah, really happy with them. So you're actually happy with your, the money you've spent? Yes, How who would have thought? <laughs> All right, so he's got, I think you've got one more session to go? Yeah. I think it's time to do some time lapse and see how quick you really are because you look fast you look like one of the fast cars out there but who knows in a slow session <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you again shortly
train. Drive train. Well, the day is just about over. Um, you had a pretty good run apart from that misfire, which I didn't film because I sort of panicked that we were having a big problem. Um, but yeah, Declan did have a misfire on his last run out. Had to come in, cleared the codes. It was uh, it was cylinder one, cylinder one. Yep. Um, fuel injector shut down as well, so it was a bad enough misfire for that to happen. But cleared the code, went back out, and probably another five hot laps. Actually, yeah, probably closer to seven. It was flying. The car looked really good on track. Uh, unfortunately, with these types of days, as I said at the start, they're more of a training slash learning to drive your car. They don't actually provide timing. And because Declan was logging for most of it, he couldn't use the lap timer on his phone. So you don't really know how fast you were. No. Have to look at dash cam or GoPro or whatever. I think we need to, to go back and do some proper timing because it looked rapid. It looked like one of the faster cars out there. So hopefully we've got some cool footage. Um... To summarise, Cup 2s, what are your final thoughts after giving them a proper spanking in the dry, which was their last session was? Oh, in the dry, amazing. So, I got them up into 80 odd degrees where previous tyres before the Cup 2s would really start to fall off the cliff. Yep. And so you'd turn in and the back would just, you know, keep going and that kind of thing. They just felt planted. And the, the track was still a little bit damp. Yeah, spots. true. And it was putting the power down really nicely. The turn in was amazing. Felt really good on the brakes. Yeah, really happy with them. The car did well, apart from the misfire. Yeah. All right, yeah, guys. That was scary. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get off. Um, yeah, we're going to wind it up there. I should have a package arriving soon with some big brakes in it, which I'm looking forward to opening up. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for taking me out for the day. No worries. And uh, yeah, it was nice when you go and do a track day and you don't have to spend any money. Um, but yeah, until the next one, peace.